Jackson here, and I wanted to read to you a very special book to me, and it's called The Kissing Hand. That is the title of the book, and the author is Audrey Penn, and the author writes the words. This book is illustrated by Ruth E. Harper and Nancy Leak, and the illustrator draws the pictures. This is a very fun book to read, so get ready. Let's read The Kissing Hand. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please, may I stay home with you? And he's so sad. Look at that picture. He's crying. He doesn't want to go to school. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the, on the ear. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to do, she told him gently, even if they seem strange and scary at first. But you will love school once you start. I bet a lot of the boys and girls didn't want to come to school, but I bet they love it now. You'll make new friends and play with new toys and read books and swing on new swings? Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. That's opposite of what you do because rac raccoons are nocturnal and so Chester goes to school at nighttime when you come to school in the daytime. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? A very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand, asked Chester. What's that? I'll show you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand and spread it open with his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand up his arm and into his heart. Even his silky black mask, mask tinged with special warmth. That's so sweet. So here is how she did his hand. She kissed the palm of his hand, and that's his kissing hand. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now, she told Chester, whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, just press your hand to your cheek and think, Mommy loves you, Mommy loves you, and that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty warm thoughts. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now do be careful not to lose it, she teased him, but don't worry. When you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. That night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand. Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye and an I love you, Chester turned and danced away. And there he goes, off to school at nighttime. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across the tree limb and enter school. And as the hoot owl rang in the new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it's saying. Chester loves you. And there's Chester and his friends at school. And here is 
the I love you in the kissing hand. <laughs> now I want to teach you how to say I love you in sign language and it looks just like this hand and you hold up your fingers like that and I'm going to see if you remember that when I see you next time. So I love you and keep your kissing hand with your family and we'll see you next week.